Hey social media pro, are you ready to conquer social video production in record time? In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to churn out crazy 50 reels in just two hours with Jasper and Canva at your side. After this quick five minute sprint you'll save money and learn two clever techniques with Jasper and Canva. So let's roll! First of all I will show you the result. Here you will see the reel as the result I already did. We have um, the 9 to 16 ratio, so it's uh, 1080 times 1920 pixels. And yeah, I made this content pillar, this topic within my content strategy, which is recurring and which contain texts that I can change, that I can edit uh, inside a spreadsheet. But first of all, I show you the result. It's, it's with sound, so I just play it. So you see, um, we have this uh, topic, it's called Good Prompts, Bad Prompts. And we have two sheets with information. That's the first sheet, the first text fields. We have the task, which we want to solve, social ad creation, the industry, barbershop, and the prompt, which uses enter to chat GPT and which is very generic. I call it bad prompt. Write text for an Instagram ad to promote 20% off on all haircuts this week. So this three entries, this three text entries will be dynamic and will be filled later with our bulk creation. The second slide, second page, is the result, the good prompt. And it's filled in here inside enhanced prompt. We have this text and at least the result text, read the caption, is the last one. In this step we create a Google spreadsheet with our columns and our data we enter. So here you see in column one we enter our task, column two the industry, column three the bad prompt, here the good prompt and the last column is the result. In this spreadsheet you enter your data for your content. So here we enter our 50 texts for the task, the industry and I use Jasper in this case for writing the good prompt. For example we take here the barbershop and we take the bad prompt text. I copy it, I will enter Jasper, the Jasper chat, and we have this prompt enhancer, and that's a very nice function here in Jasper. I enter here the very generic um, prompt, and with the enhanced prompt function, Jasper will deliver a much more enhanced prompt. So I copy and paste this, and paste it here to my data field good prompt. And this is this step. I just enter here my 50 contents, my 50 dynamic text values and prepare the CSV file. And that's the next step. I just say file download. I export this spreadsheet into CSV comma separated values. And that's all. Now we jump into Canva. Here is the original structure of your movie. You have multiple pages like this page. I just scrolls through so you can see it. That's the first page. Good prompts. Go over to the next page. Bad prompts. Then we have the page with the dynamic entries, task, industry, your prompt. This is the uh, little movie sequence. So um, it's always nice to enter some faces or to insert some 
yeah, some scenes from you where you're talking about something or it's, it's very individual. So the next page here is the enhanced prompt. We have the dynamic text entry here and the result. Important in this step is that you do not enter the text here. You please do not insert here some text fields. Just leave it empty because we have to export this movie first into MP4 format. And after that, we edit this generated MP4 movie and insert the text fields there. And that's our next step. I just go here to share when the movie here is empty. As you can see, I just entered um, some sounds here, this swoosh sound or this, uh, this buzzer sound here, as well the timings. And at the end, I just say download and uh, say all pages and Canva generates a MP4 movie with one page. And now I open this exported MP4 file and as you can see, now I will enter here the text fields like this. Please don't worry if some other text files appear with right mouse click and show timing. You will see here your timings for the text fields and sometimes like here this good prompt is shown. And uh, yeah, that's some performance issues in Canva, I think. So that's the next step. We enter this text fields right here. Just insert some text fields like that um, and name it like you want it. Yeah, like um, here we we write our task text. You can name it as you want and you place it to the right place, leave space because some text could be longer and be aware of being inside the window of a TikTok or Instagram reel. So I entered here my text fields. As you can see, they're on the right place. I have some space if the text is longer and the same here on our result page. I say here, good prompt text. I have here the text field. Here I leave lots of space. As you see, now we see this text, uh, don't worry. <laughs> I leave uh, lots of space because uh, the good prompt is enhanced, so we have much more text and we have to prepare that it's longer. So, and now we assign the bulk edition. Bulk create. This item, if you don't have it on the left side, then you can uh, search it here inside the apps. Just enter here, bulk, bulk create, and you will find it here. Then after that, after, after the first use, then it's pinned here on your left bar. So I click, we upload our CSV file. Yeah, it's the test CSV. And now we have all our entries and I go to the right spot here. Task is our first one and I click right mouse and say connect data and I choose the column, the field which I want to connect. And that's here, it's task. And then you see the clamps and you see that it's connected with our CSV files and this I return for each text file, connect data, this is the bad prompt. And now I turn to the second page. Here we have the good prompt, right, connect data, good prompt and the result, right click, connect data with the result. And that's all. I say here, continue, we say, we see the the apply data field, create pages, and now we generate 50 or X number of designs. That, that depends on how many entries you made in your spreadsheet. And here we go. We see Canva generated all our pages, all our reels, and now we can export it all as 
mp4 videos and we say here download pages at as separate files so canva export in this case single pages as one movie and one page is one ready done reel and that's all in total i expect two hours of work Creating the individual video design template in Canva takes the most time. I estimate around about 1.5 hours. The rest can be done in minutes using Jasper or ChatGPT. Do you have any questions or feedback for me? Write it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and follow me so you never miss an update.